To freedom. To the Black Pearl. We all know Hollywood's got its fair share of glitz, glam, and drama. But what about the darker side? Yep, we're about to spill the tea on some of Hollywood's most notorious names, the ones who took their love for the bottle to legendary levels. From the silver screen to the spotlight of alcoholism, these stars didn't just walk on the wild side, they practically tap danced on it. Number 100, Alan Ladd. Alan Ladd, known for his role in Shane, faced challenges like alcoholism despite his Hollywood success. Sadly, he passed away in 1964 at just 50 from an accidental overdose of alcohol and sedatives. His story reminds us that life's ups and downs affect everyone, even those who appear to have it all. Number 99, Dean Martin. Dean Martin, originally part of Martin and Lewis with Jerry Lewis, later pursued a solo career with hits like That's Amore and Ain't That a Kick in the Head. Despite his smooth Rat Pack image, he died at 78 from lung cancer on December 25, 1995. Life's surprises affect everyone, even the coolest cats. Number 98, Anne Margaret. Anne Margaret soared to fame with Bye Bye Birdie at just 22, earning a Golden Globe. She excelled in movies, TV, and music, showcasing her versatility. Despite battling alcoholism in the 70s, she faced it head on triumphing through rehab. Now, in 82, she continues to shine on screen, proving age is just a number in Hollywood's spotlight. Number 97, Spencer Tracy. With hits like Captain Courageous and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Spencer Tracy won consecutive Best Actor Oscars. Despite battling alcoholism in the late 30s, he left a lasting legacy in cinema. Tracy passed away on June 10, 1967, at 67, from a heart attack remembered for his exceptional acting prowess and contributions to film. Number 96, Broderick Crawford. Broderick Crawford rose to fame in his 40s, winning an Oscar for All the King's Men and starring in Highway Patrol. Despite success, alcoholism marred his life and career. He died at 74 on April 26, 1986, battling health problems like pneumonia and a stroke. Crawford's legacy endures in entertainment despite his struggles. Number 95, Barbara Payton. In her early 20s, she gained fame in Hollywood but struggled with alcoholism and tumultuous relationships, leading to tabloid scandals. Sadly, she died at 39 on May 8, 1967 under mysterious circumstances. Her life warns of the pitfalls of fame and addiction in Hollywood, reminding us of its harsh realities. Number 94, Montgomery Cliff. Montgomery Clift gained fame at 27 with The Search in 1948, earning his first Oscar nod. His natural acting style set him apart, but behind the scenes, he battled alcohol and substance abuse, affecting his health and career. He passed away at 45 on July 23, 1966, from heart disease exasperated by his struggles. Cliff's story reveals fame's darker side, even for the most talented. Number 93, Paul Lynn. Paul Lind found success in his late 30s on Bewitched and Hollywood Squares, showcasing his comedic talent. However, behind the scenes, alcoholism took a toll on his life and career. He passed away at 55 on January 10, 1982 from a heart attack. Lind's story reminds us that even the funniest faces challenges, showing Hollywood's serious side. Number 92, Larry Hagman. Larry Hagman rose to fame as J.R. Ewing on Dallas in his 40s, but his career spanned decades, including roles in I Dream of Genie and Failsafe. Battling alcoholism, he faced challenges in work and relationships. He passed away at 81 on November 23, 2012 from throat cancer, reminding us that even stars struggle. Hagman's legacy endures among his fans. Number 91, Orson Welles. Orson Welles became a legend in American entertainment. At 23, his War of the Worlds broadcast shocked listeners. He later made his mark in film with Citizen Kane, known for its innovation. Wells passed away at 70 on October 10, 1985, but his legacy in cinema endures, inspiring future filmmakers. Number 90, Tallulah Bankhead. 
Tallulah Bankhead, a vibrant American actress, gained fame in the 1920s and 30s for her stage and screen performances. Starting on Broadway at 15, she starred in hits like The Little Foxes. Known for her love of alcohol and lavish lifestyle, she passed away at 66 on December 12, 1968 from pneumonia. Bankhead's legacy endures for her wit, charm, and talent. Number 89, John Barrymore. He was a big hit in the early 1900s, impressing audiences with his talent and charm. He started on Broadway at 18 and became a leading man in movies like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Despite battling alcoholism, he remained a top actor until his death in 1942, leaving a lasting impact on entertainment. Number 88, Ethel Barrymore. She became famous in the late 1800s, debuting on Broadway at 15. She starred in hits like Captain Jinx of the Horse Marines, she also shown in silent films like The Nightingale, winning an Academy Award for None But the Lonely Heart in 1944. Despite battling alcoholism, Barrymore stopped drinking at 60, living a rewarding life until her death at 79 from heart disease. Number 87, Marie Prevost. Starting in the early 1910s as a teen, Prost impressed with her beauty and acting skills. Known for her comedic talent, she starred in hits like The Marriage Circle and The Racket. However, personal struggles, including alcoholism, shadowed her success. Prost died at 40 on January 21, 1937, from alcohol-related complications, including malnutrition. Number 86, Clara Bow. Clara Bow was known as the original It Girl. She gained fame in the 1920s silent film era after winning a beauty contest at 16. With her lively personality and unique style, she starred in iconic movies like Wings and It. Despite personal struggles, her impact on cinema endures. Bo retired in the 1930s and passed away at 60 from a heart attack on September 27, 1965. Number 85, Frank Sinatra. In the 1940s, Frank Sinatra became famous singing with the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. Known as The Voice, he had a captivating charm. He also acted, winning an Oscar for From Here to Eternity in 1953. Despite fame, he struggled with alcoholism and had turbulent relationships. Sinatra died on May 14, 1998, aged 82, from a heart attack. Number 84, Humphrey Bogart. Rumors swirl about how Bogart got his famous scar. Some say a childhood brawl, others a Navy punch or sea battle shrapnel but his Navy pals insist it happened in a New York speakeasy fight. Known for late night partying on Broadway, Bogart's antics got him in trouble. In Hollywood, he partied hard with his famous friends, but battled alcoholism until his death from cancer in 1957. Number 83, Richard Harris. Richard Harris rose to fame in the 1960s, impressing in the sporting life at 33. He showed versatility as King Arthur in Camelot and as Dumbledore in Harry Potter. Overcoming alcoholism, he revived his career. Sadly, he died on October 25, 2002, age 72, from Hodgkin lymphoma complications. Number 82, Errol Flynn. Errol Flynn became a global star in the 1930s and 40s with his adventurous roles and charming demeanor. His 20s saw him shine in movies like Captain Blood and The Adventures of Robin Hood. Despite career success, Flynn's life was chaotic with many marriages and alcoholism allegations. He died aged 50 on October 14, 1959, likely due to a heart attack worsened by heavy drinking and health problems. Number 81, Richard Burton. Richard Burton's Hollywood breakthrough came with roles in My Cousin Rachel and the Robe. Known for his acting in eventful personal life, including his marriage to Elizabeth Taylor, Burton's battles with alcohol were well known. He died at 58 on August 5, 1984, from a cerebral hemorrhage. Number 80, Oliver Reed. Reed gained fame in the 1960s with roles in The Trap and Oliver, earning an Oscar nod. Known for wild behavior, he struggled with heavy drinking, earning the label of a Hellraiser. Despite success, his alcoholism plagued him. Sadly, he died at 61 from a heart attack during a filming break on May 2, 1999. Number 79, Gig Young. Gig Young started his career in the 1940s, rising as a leading man and character actor. 
He won an Oscar in his 30s for Come Fill the Cup. His peak came in the early 1960s with roles in That Touch of Mink. Sadly, alcoholism affected his career and life. He died in a murder-suicide on October 19, 1978 at 64, shooting his fifth wife before himself. Number 78, W.C. Fields. Fields became famous for his unique humor, characterized by his big nose and cigar. Starting in vaudeville and Broadway, he found success in his 40s. Moving to Hollywood, he starred in classics like My Little Chickadee and The Bank Dick. His heavy drinking affected his health and performances. He died at 66 on December 25, 1946, from a stomach hemorrhage. Number 77, Peter O'Toole. Peter O'Toole rose to fame in his 30s with Lawrence of Arabia, earning an Oscar nod. Known for his roles in Beckett and The Lion in Winter, he was a top actor. Despite alcoholism, he delivered stellar performances. He died at 81 on December 14, 2013, from stomach cancer complications. Number 96, Robert Mitchum. In an incident that sheds light on Robert Mitchum's struggle with alcohol addiction, he once got into a brawl on the set of His Kind of Woman while filming a fight scene. While drunk, Mitchum forgot he was acting and ended up tangling with several stuntmen for real. Number 75, Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper, known for comedies like Wedding Crashers, faced struggles like anyone else. He's been sober for over a decade and spoke about how alcohol affected his relationships in 2015. His stories show how alcohol problems can impact everything. Since getting clean, he's excelled in directing and acting. Notably, in 2018's A Star is Born, earning praise for both. Number 74, Robert Downey Jr. Once deemed unemployable due to his substance abuse, he faced arrest for heroin and cocaine possession in 1996. But Robert sought help and made a remarkable comeback, starring in blockbusters like Iron Man and The Avengers. Through programs, yoga, meditation, and therapy, maintains over 15 years of sobriety showcasing an inspiring journey of recovery. Number 73, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, in Hollywood for over 30 years, juggled acting and producing in hit films. Yet he faced personal battles, notably with drugs and alcohol. After a public divorce and custody battle in 2017, he spoke candidly about his struggles. Pitt revealed using alcohol to numb emotions, but embraced sobriety to confront them reflecting on his journey in a GQ interview. Number 72, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, known for his roles like Goodwill Hunting and Batman, has faced a serious battle with alcohol addiction. Admitting to rehab stints before, he fully committed to recovery in 2018. He attended outpatient treatment, supported by friends like Bradley Cooper and Robert Downey Jr. Affleck emphasizes lessons learned in recovery including honesty, responsibility, and helping others, continuing his journey to sobriety. Number 71, Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe, known for Harry Potter, struggled with sudden fame, turning to alcohol to cope with scrutiny. Despite loving his work, he isolated himself from attention. Acknowledging his susceptibility to habits, he credits friends for support. In 2012, Radcliffe admitted alcohol harmed his body and social life, prompting him to sober up. Though challenging, he finds sobriety rewarding. Number 70, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore faced alcohol issues from a young age in Hollywood. Attending events with her mom at nine, she struggled with alcohol by 11. However, she found peace after rehab in 2019, sharing on CBS This Morning in 2018 I found a lifestyle that's really vibing with my own little journey. She's now on a positive path after years of turmoil. Number 69, Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor went to rehab in 1983. She found support and camaraderie, realizing getting clean was achievable with help. After leaving rehab, she committed to sobriety, stating, staying sober is the only way I'm going to keep ticking. Despite a slip up in 1988, she stayed on track until her passing in 2011 at 79. Number 68, Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher, known for Princess Leia in Star Wars, was candid about her health and alcohol addiction. 
In her book, Wishful Drinking, she humorlessly addressed struggles, cautioning against constant comfort seeking as a sign of addiction. Fisher passed away in 2016 from a heart attack, possibly linked to a relapse. Fans fondly remembered the beloved actress. Number 67, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson openly acknowledges his lifelong battle with alcoholism. He faced legal issues in 2006 and 2009 related to drunk driving. Gibson, addressing his struggles, voluntarily entered rehab. In a 2016 interview, he discussed the challenges of quitting alcohol, reflecting on the tough decisions involved. Number 66, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan, like other young actresses, wrestled with drugs and alcohol. Sobriety proved challenging with an unsuccessful rehab stint in 2011. Court ordered to wear an alcohol monitoring bracelet in 2010, she struggled publicly, including a relapse on her reality show in 2014. Lohan openly discusses the dangers of alcohol, highlighting her battle with addiction. Number 65, David Hasselhoff. In the 80s and early 90s, David Hasselhoff was everywhere, enjoying his fame, partying, and starring in Baywatch. But after Baywatch ended in 2001, his life took a turn. Feeling rejected, he turned to alcohol to cope with the pain. A viral video of him drunk changed everything. He sought help, staged a comeback with a musical, and now embraces his iconic persona in movies. Number 64, John Hamm. John Hamm, unlike his iconic character Don Draper, struggled with alcoholism. He credits therapy for his recovery. Living Draper's troubled life on screen took its toll, worsened by personal struggles like his parents' divorce. Ham sought help before the final season of Mad Men. Now he avoids dark roles, preferring lighter projects like Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and Baby Driver. Number 63, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin confronted his substance abuse in 1985, realizing the severity of his addiction while on a hit TV show. He admitted to struggling with alcohol, a wake-up call from an arcade operator led him to rehab, propelling his successful career, notably on 30 Rock. Though sober, he faced public scrutiny for a controversial voicemail to his daughter in 2007. Number 62, Zac Efron. Zac Efron soared to fame with High School Musical but struggled with alcohol to cope with pressure. Despite success, he hit lows, including a scary incident in 2014. Battling heroin, he went to rehab in 2013. Recovering, he starred in Neighbors and focuses on fitness instead of drinking. His transformation shows his dedication to a healthier lifestyle. Number 61, Will Arnett. Arnett, known for his role on Arrested Development, struggled with alcohol during career setbacks. He hit rock bottom before finding help in AA meetings. His marriage to Amy Poehler brought stability, but he faced challenges during its end. He reignited his struggles, but he's now sober and thriving starring in projects like Lego Batman, BoJack Horseman, and Arrested Development. Number 60, Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor reflects on his wild days of heavy drinking during the success of Trainspotting. He shifted from carefree partying to regret and sadness, affecting his work. Embarrassing himself in front of Iggy Pop was his wake-up call. At 29 in 2000, he quit drinking cold turkey and hasn't looked back. He stays busy, showcasing his talent in projects like Beginners and Fargo. Number 59, Shia LeBeau. Shia LeBeau, known for his Disney roles, faced challenges with poverty and his father's drug use. Introduced to drugs early, he struggled with alcohol and depression despite Hollywood success. Arrested for disorderly behavior in 2017, he pledged sobriety for a film shoot. Despite rehab stints and arrests, his lawyer denies alcoholism but Shia vows to seek help after filming. Number 58, Veronica Lake. Lake, a renowned film noir actress recognized for her distinctive hairstyle and femme fatale persona, faced a decline in her career due to struggles with alcoholism and mental health issues. She passed away on July 7, 1973. Number 57, Ryan Dunn. Dunn, known for his roles in MTV's Jackass and Viva La Bam, tragically passed away in a car accident he was driving which also claimed the life of his passenger. His blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit, reflecting his well-known struggles with addiction. 
He passed away on June 20th, 2011. Number 56. William Holden Holden won both an Academy and Emmy Award. He starred in numerous films throughout his career. However, his excessive drinking took a toll on his personal and professional life, resulting in divorces and a tragic drunk driving accident where he fatally injured another driver. On November 12, 1981, while intoxicated, Holden slipped and struck his head on a table. He wasn't discovered until four days later when he passed away. Number 55. Michael Elphick Elphick, a well-liked British actor recognized for his distinctive hoarse voice and prematurely aged appearance, faced severe struggles with alcohol. At the peak of his alcoholism, he reportedly consumed two liters of alcohol daily, ultimately succumbing to a heart attack on September 7, 2002. Number 54. Ian Hendry Hendry, a British actor with roles in various television series and movies, took to alcohol in his later years and passed away due to a stomach hemorrhage on December 24, 1984. Number 53. Kevin Lloyd Lloyd, a well-known actor in various British television series, got the boot from one of the shows due to consistent intoxication, causing issues with line memorization and punctuality. Following his dismissal, he checked into rehab. However, he left the facility to indulge in alcohol, returned under the influence, and tragically choked on his own vomit on May 2, 1998, at the rehab facility. Number 52. Yutha Joyce Yutha Joyce, a beloved English actress recognized for her television roles, found herself caught in a cycle of drinking due to her thriving career. For a decade, she consumed up to half a bottle of brandy every day, eventually succumbing to liver failure on August 24, 1980. Number 51. Bernard Lee With over 100 roles in five decades, he has been a prolific actor since childhood. His iconic role as M in James Bond marked his career. Despite success, he faced tragedy, including his wife's death, a mugging, and debts, leading to depression and alcohol abuse. His excessive drinking even caused filming interruptions. Lee's drinking led to his demise at 73 from stomach cancer. Number 50. Dennis Price From aristocratic roots, Dennis found success in stage and screen notably in Kind Hearts and Coronets. Despite fame, personal struggles, including failed marriage and hidden sexuality, led to a suicide attempt in 1954. His decline was marked by heavy drinking, affecting his work. Colleagues noticed his intoxicated state, leading to his tragic end from liver cirrhosis. Number 49. Robin Williams Robin Williams battled alcohol addiction and depression for much of his life. Tragically, he ultimately took his own life. His passing deeply affected the nation, shocking the public. He wasn't only a beloved actor, but also a vocal advocate for many causes, making his loss deeply felt by many people. Number 48. Vern Troyer Troyer was born with achondroplasia dwarfism, which meant he stopped growing at 2 foot 8. He gained fame for his role as Mini-Me in Austin Powers. Unfortunately, he battled alcoholism for years. Despite trying multiple treatment programs, he couldn't overcome it. Tragically, he passed away from alcohol poisoning, ruled as suicide. Number 47. Cary Grant Cary Grant, known for suave roles, struggled with alcoholism. Surprisingly, he turned to LSD for help, finding solace in its effects. Sharing the experience with friends, he reportedly took LSD around 100 times which seemed to improve his life. Grant lived contentedly until 82, showing how unconventional treatments can sometimes have unexpected benefits. Number 46. Joan Crawford Joan Crawford, the iconic actress, tied the knot with the CEO of PepsiCo, who appointed her as the official Pepsi ambassador. She had an alcohol wish list long enough to fill a minibar for an army. It included two-fifths of Smirnoff, a fifth of Old Forester bourbon, a fifth of scotch, a fifth of beef eater gin, two champagne bottles, and a case of Pepsi. Yep, Pepsi was the star of the show. Number 45, Judy Garland. Judy Garland, once a Hollywood powerhouse, faced financial woes throughout her three-decade career. 
Besides her iconic singing voice, her well-known battles with addiction, depression, and alcoholism took a toll. Garland grappled with the shadows of suicide, making her journey a poignant tale of triumphs and tribulations. Number 44. Betty Davis Betty Davis, famed for her iconic role spanning decades, remained embroiled in posthumous drama even after her Whatever Happened to Baby Jane co-star John Crawford passed away. In 1985, Davis faced a tough moment when her daughter published My Mother's Keeper, filled with bitter accusations adding a bitter twist on Mother's Day. At 77, fragile from a stroke, Davis's doctor feared the book's cruelty could worsen her health. Number 43, Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson, a big-time actor with a ton of movies under his belt, holds the title of the second-highest-grossing actor ever. Back in his early stage days, he was dealing with some heavy stuff, battling drugs and alcohol. But after rehab, he bounced back strong, landing his breakthrough role as cocaine addict in Jungle Fever, which kicked off his stellar movie career. Number 42, Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy, famous as Mr. Spock from Star Trek, faced a tough battle with alcohol. The show's fame got to him, and what started as unwinding turned into a nightly ritual of wine, beer, or spirits after filming. But he took charge and checked into rehab, getting himself back on track. Number 41. Eddie Falco Eddie Falco drew from her own battle with addiction to portray Nurse Jackie, addicted to prescription opioids, on the Showtime series. Known for her role as Carmela on The Sopranos, Falco celebrates over 25 years sober from alcohol. Playing Jackie affirmed her journey to recovery. Number 40, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell, age 43, confessed he didn't want to live after filming Miami Vice, citing the toll of drug and alcohol addiction. Rehab turned his life around, repairing relationships strained by substance abuse. In 2018, he returned to rehab to manage cravings, valuing the importance of seeking help. Number 39, Buster Keaton. In his heyday, he churned out two movies a year, with hits like Our Hospitality, The Navigator, and The General, the latter two being his personal favorites. Sherlock Jr. stands out for its innovative special effects, though opinions were mixed due to its unprecedented nature. However, his struggles took a toll leading to alcohol dependence and erratic behavior. Fired by MGM in 1933, he spiraled into depression and alcoholism. Number 38, Robert Newton. Newton gained fame for playing iconic pirate characters like Long John Silver in Treasure Island series and Blackbeard. However, his career suffered due to alcohol abuse, causing unreliability and limited opportunities. He died at 50, officially from a heart attack but alcohol played a significant role. Number 37, John Cassavetes. Cassavetes gained recognition in films, playing notable roles like Robert Batsford in The Night Holds Terror and troubled Frankie Dane in Crime in the Streets. He landed a lead role in Edge of the City, yet health problems emerged, and he died at 59 from cirrhosis caused by heavy drinking. Number 36, John Gilbert. John Gilbert, a silent film star, rose to fame at MGM, notably with Greta Garbo. Despite a romance, he faced personal and career setbacks. Heavy drinking worsened his troubles. His voice mismatched his persona with the advent of sound, leading to clashes with MGM. He made only one film before dying in 1936 due to alcohol-related issues. Number 35, David Cassidy. Cassidy, the heartthrob of the 1970s thanks to his role as Keith Partridge on The Partridge Family, later found success as a musician. However, his life was far from smooth sailing. In 2008, he openly acknowledged his struggle with alcoholism. Sadly, in 2017, he passed away at the age of 67 due to liver and kidney failure, stemming from his years of battling alcohol abuse. Number 34, Peter Cook. Peter Cook, the English comedian renowned for his work in British television and film, grappled with alcoholism throughout his life. Sadly, he passed away in 1995 at the age of 57. The cause of his death was a gastrointestinal hemorrhage, likely stemming from his years-long battle with alcohol abuse. Number 33, Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant, the one alcoholic in history who could outdrink even the Irish. 
Andre drank 7,000 calories of booze daily. Before wrestling matches, he'd kick off with two dozen quarts of beer. And get this, every 90 minutes, he'd done a whole case of beer followed by a couple of vodka bottles. Number 32, Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold has been through a lot with addiction. Back in the 1980s, he was living a life of drugs and alcohol, which led him to rehab. Then, after staying clean for 20 years, he got hooked on painkillers following a motorcycle crash in 2007. He didn't tell anyone about it until he almost died because of a ruptured colon caused by his addiction. Number 31, River Phoenix. Phoenix started using drugs shortly after he found success in his film career. Plimpton, his partner at the time, mentioned they split up in 1989 because of his drug use. Gus Van Sant, director of My Own Private Idaho, hinted in his book Pink that Phoenix occasionally used drugs but drank more alcohol. Number 30, Russell Brand. Russell Brand had a hard time with drinking too. It cost him relationships, friendships, and jobs. Brand thinks that for a while, he just replaced one addiction with another. But things changed when he figured out ways to find peace within himself. Number 29, Gerard Butler. The Scottish actor faced tough battles with drug and alcohol addictions before he decided to get help. Now, over two decades later, Butler is still living a sober life. He shared with a magazine that he hopes to start a family soon. Number 28, Sid Caesar. Caesar was famous for eating and drinking too much, especially scotch whiskey. He'd supposedly down a whole lot of it every day. Doctors tried to help by giving him sedatives, but instead of helping, it just made things worse. Caesar kept drinking, taking his meds along with his daily dose of alcohol. Number 27, Richard Swift. Richard Swift died on July 3, 2018. His family later revealed he battled alcoholism, leading to his death. In June 2018, he was diagnosed with hepatitis, causing liver and kidney distress. Feeling overwhelmed, he requested hospice care but didn't survive. Number 26, Billie Holiday. Billie Holiday battled alcoholism throughout her life. Sadly, she passed away from pulmonary edema and heart failure due to cirrhosis of the liver induced by alcohol on July 17, 1959, at the age of 44. Number 25, Bon Scott. Bon Scott, the singer of ACDC, passed away from alcohol poisoning after a night of heavy drinking on February 19, 1980. He was 33 years old. Number 24, Brian Connolly. Brian Connolly, the musician from Sweet, passed away at the age of 51 due to renal failure on February 9, 1997. He struggled with severe alcoholism since the mid-1970s. Number 23, Clyde McFadder. On June 13, 1972, Clyde McFadder, the singer from The Drifters, passed away at the age of 39 due to the toll of alcohol abuse on his kidney, liver, and heart. Number 22, Keith Whitley. Country musician Keith Whitley passed away on May 9, 1989 due to alcoholism. His blood alcohol level was 0.47 at the time of his death. Whitley was 33 years old. Number 21, Lester Young. Jazz musician Lester Young passed away on March 15, 1959 due to heart failure resulting from years of alcohol abuse. He was 49 years old. Number 20, Big Spider Becky. When he wasn't touring and playing music, Big Spider Becky spent a lot of his downtime drinking. He passed away on August 6, 1931 due to complications from pneumonia. Many jazz historians think that his ongoing struggle with alcohol played a part in his untimely death at the age of 28. Number 19, Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett, the quintessential All-American beauty, faced challenges with drug and alcohol addiction, which led to a roller coaster ride in her promising acting career. Number 18, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman, the Oscar-nominated actor for Capote, struggled with alcohol and drug misuse during his younger years. He tragically relapsed in February 2014 and passed away from a mix of drugs and intoxication. Number 17, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp turned to heavy drinking partly because of his fame. For instance, he found it challenging to speak at events without relying on alcohol. Number 16, Jamie Lee Curtis. 
1978, Jamie Lee Curtis became famous as the original Scream Queen in Halloween. After eye surgery in 1989, she struggled with painkillers and alcohol secretly for a decade. She credits genetics, citing her brother's fatal overdose and her father's addiction. Now over 22 years sober, overcoming alcoholism is her proudest feat. Number 15. Kirsten Dunst Kirsten Dunst, known for her role in Spider-Man, has faced issues with drugs and has been in and out of rehab for struggles with alcohol and drug misuse. Number 14, Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato, known for acting and music, went to rehab at 17 for cocaine addiction. Diagnosed with bipolar disorder a year later, she initially resisted help. After six years sober, she relapsed in 2018, nearly dying from an overdose. Now, she raises awareness about mental health and addiction. Number 13, Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway, famous American writer, faced bipolar disorder, severe depression, and alcohol abuse. He endured electroshock therapy about 15 times. His father's suicide deeply affected him, leading to suicidal thoughts. Substance abuse worsened with his depression, ending in his death from a self-inflicted gunshot wound in July 1961 after multiple suicide attempts. Number 12. Rob Lowe Rob Lowe began acting at 15 on ABC's A New Kind of Family. Roles in shows like The Outsiders made him a 1980s teen heartthrob. Fame led to heavy drinking, influenced by Hollywood. A sex tape scandal in 1990 prompted him to seek alcohol addiction treatment. Now sober, he emphasizes understanding addiction's effects and honesty for maintaining sobriety. Number 11. Elton John Elton John has been sober for over 30 years. His collaboration with Bernie Taupin since 1967 produced hits like Your Song. Battling social anxieties, he turned to alcohol and cocaine, leading to dependency. He founded the Elton John AIDS Foundation and sought treatment for alcohol addiction, celebrating 25 years sober with the mantra, one day at a time. Number 10. Kristen Davis Kristen Davis, known for her role as Charlotte York in Sex and the City, battled alcohol addiction before acting. Alcohol helped her overcome shyness, but led to dependency. Discovering acting, she chose sobriety for artistic expression, crediting it with her recovery. Despite the show's influence on Cosmopolitan's popularity, she never tried one due to her sobriety. Number 9. Simon Pegg Simon Pegg, famed for The World's End, hid his alcoholism while filming, even during Mission Impossible 3. You get pretty sneaky when dealing with something like that, he admitted on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs. Peg started recovery in 2009 after his daughter's birth. Grateful he got help in time. Number 8. Hayden Panettiere Hayden Panettiere shared with Women's Health how alcoholism took a toll on her health and her journey to recovery. Following this wake-up call in 2021, she decided to seek help and entered a treatment center while also participating in a 12-step program. Number 7. Anthony Hopkins In the spirit of new beginnings, Oscar winner Anthony Hopkins shared a heartfelt video on Instagram on December 29th, discussing his 47-year journey of sobriety and offering advice on overcoming addiction. Reflecting on his past struggles, he emphasized the importance of self-kindness and pride. Number 6. Bronwyn Wyndham Burke Bronwyn Wyndham Burke from Real Housewives of Orange County shared her alcoholism struggle in season 15. She believes her pregnancies paused alcoholism, but acknowledges a troubled relationship with alcohol since her teens, leading to blackouts. Now, she attends AA meetings, leaning on Bravo viewers for support and accountability. Number 5. Matthew Perry Perry has been candid about his battles with alcoholism and Vicodin addiction during his time in the spotlight on Friends. It wasn't my plan to end up struggling with it, he shared, referring to the Vicodin he was given for a jet ski mishap. But right from the start, I liked the way it made me feel, and I kept wanting more. I was spiraling out of control and in really bad shape. Number 4. Tom Hardy In 2018, Hardy opened up to Esquire about his battle with addiction which began when he was just 13 years old. It wasn't until he was 25 that Hardy decided to join a 12-step program, and he's been living sober ever since. 
Number three, Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse struggled with substance abuse, a fact that was no secret. In 2007, reports emerged that she had been hospitalized after overdosing on heroin, ecstasy, ketamine, and alcohol. Her death in 2011 was determined to be caused by accidental alcohol poisoning. Number two, David Desmalchian. David Desmalchian, known for Ant-Man and the Wasp's Quantumania, recently shared his past struggles with drugs and alcohol before acting. He expressed gratitude for his two decades of sobriety, which influences his acting choices. Homeless for two years due to drug addiction, he credits family support for his sobriety. Number one, Tom Felton. Tom Felton has revealed his past battles with alcohol abuse and rehabilitation. The actor, famous for playing Draco Malfoy in Harry Potter, admitted to drinking as an escape, spending much of his 20s in bars. These struggles often affected his work. And that's a wrap on our journey through Hollywood's struggles with alcoholism. We covered some big names like Judy Garland, Carrie, Lindsay Lohan, Montgomery Clift, and Johnny Depp. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.